If you want to organise something, if you want to remember it, then it's a good idea to write it down. And when I mean write it down, I mean actually physically put it down on paper using a pen or a pencil. Years ago, I used to work with this guy, and he used to carry a little notebook and a pencil around with him, and whenever. You asked him something, or whenever he needed to remember something, or if you gave him something to do, he would immediately get out this notebook and he'd write it down. And I once said to him, "Why do you write everything down, Charlie?" And he said, "Well, it's because my pencil's got a better memory than I have, and you can't argue with that." But the thing is, when you write something down, you're more likely to remember it. So even though Charlie used to write everything down, he didn't often have to refer back to this notebook because it made it easier for him to remember it. And this is because the act of physically writing something down causes two separate parts of your brain to become involved in the process of remembering, making it less likely that you'll forget. I notice lots of people these days use electronic devices to take notes. You often see、um, college students taking laptops or tablet computers into lectures, and there's all sorts of things you can get for your smartphone that makes it easier to simply tap out a note. But the thing is, it doesn't trigger the same part of your brain that writing something down does. It's it, it's hard for a layman to explain it really, but it just Works better in your mind. You're more likely to remember something if you've actually physically written it down on paper.、Uh, it's just the way that your brain works. And so, while electronic devices can be a lot more convenient, they don't often work as well. Now, when you're writing something down, probably the best thing to do is to carry around an old-fashioned notebook or a diary and a pen or pencil, and then you can make a note of things as and when. You can buy them online, and you can buy them lots of different places. Obviously, diaries you can generally get around the turn of the year, but notebooks are readily available from all sorts of places all year round. And you can get one that's small enough to fit inside your jacket pocket, or you can carry it in your purse or handbag or that sort of thing. And they don't take a lot of space. And you can get it out and just write down your notes as and when. Now, my favourite organisational tool, particularly when I'm collaborating with others and we're working in the same office, is a wall planner. And as you can see, they are very cheap. This one here is two pounds ninety nine, which is about five US dollars. And if I zoom over here, you can see what it is. It's just basically a whole year's calendar, spread out in the little squares. All the way across, and you have a a regular calendar at the side as well that you can refer to, and you can use this. These are generally、um, write-on, wipe-off type boards, and you can use these to block book events.、Uh, so I know when I'm going to be making a video, I can block in a whole、uh, area where we're going to be away shooting, or if I'm going to be recording a video like this, I'll know that、uh, I won't want to schedule any meetings or anything else like that for this particular time. And I'm going to know when people's schedules are in conflict. I'm going to know when people are going to be away on holidays or vacations and that sort of thing. And it just means that you can plan a whole year ahead at a glance, and it's a very very useful tool. And I certainly,、uh, since I started using one several years ago, I really Would find life very difficult without it. Another thing that you can do is just to write out an old-fashioned to-do list: a piece of paper and a pen. Write to do, and then you number them one, two, three, four, five, or however many tasks you have to do. And then you can rank them in order of importance. And then when you've done them, you can simply scratch through them, and then you'll know that that task has been accomplished. And it's a very good way to keep organised because you'll know exactly what you have to do, what you've done, and what still needs doing. Another old-fashioned and、uh, very well-used tool to、uh, write things down on and to use it to organise your time and to organise your life are post-it notes. Now, 
the humble post-it note, well, it's been around a long time and it often gets overlooked, but it is actually very, very handy. You can keep a pad uh, at your desk or by the phone or wherever you're going to be writing stuff down and you can just simply write the stuff down and then you can stick notes wherever you need to put them. So you can remind yourself to make a phone call by putting a post-it note on the phone. You can remind yourself to pay a bill online by sticking a post-it note on your computer monitor, that sort of thing. And if you're collaborating with other people, you can also use them on a notice board or on a pin board or just simply uh, a spot on your office wall where you can organise these post-it notes and you can simply put the post-it note up for people to read. And of course, post-it notes come in different colours. They're not just the plain standard yellow anymore. You can get all sorts of different coloured post-it notes. And so you can colour code your post-it notes so different things can have different colours and there can be different meanings and so on. And you can use that as a really good way of getting organised. But the key here, of course, like we said at the beginning, is to make sure that you actually physically write it down. You know, it doesn't matter if your handwriting isn't neat, just as long as you can read it and other people can read it too.